much for tuning in. Um, today is another request from an amazing subscriber. Her name is Anna, and I appreciate all of your guys' requests, and I'm going to get to them all. But Anna has requested the Makeup No Makeup look, and this is a favorite of mine. I actually wear it on a daily basis. This is the kind of look that I wear generally to work or just out and about. This makeup is very approachable, it's very wearable for every single skin type, every age group. This is a good, um, it's a good look for most people. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and again, thank you so much for your request, Anna, and let's get started. So to start this look, you want to make sure that you prep your face how you normally would. So with a great moisturizer, so you want your skin to be hydrated. So my skin is prepped and primed and ready to go. So I'm going to actually start with um, something that I've talked about before, but it's the Dior BB Cream. And this just has a great dewy finish to it, which is the kind of the key of the no makeup makeup look, is to have your skin look lifelike, not be over fat, overly foundationed. So we're just gonna put that on. I have this flat brush here from It Cosmetics and it's a buffing brush. And I'm just gonna put just a few drops on it and buff that right into the skin. And I wanna make sure that it has a nice coverage but nothing too dramatic. All right, there you go. So that's as easy as that. And I will conceal a little bit in places that I need it, um, but I just wanted a light coverage of something. And see how the BB cream leaves your skin still dewy? That's what you kind of want. So the next step is a concealer. I'm going to use my Chanel concealer in number 10. So I'm just going to apply it in the normal, normal places underneath the eye and I still am going to make this triangle right here. And I bring it out. A little bit right here. I get red right here because I have allergies so I'm just going to apply it right there. And a little bit right here I get red a little bit. And I have a blemish right here so I'm just going to conceal that in a point. Go right there my deluxe crease brush by Real Techniques and buff this all the way in. And with these blemishes, I go in dotting motions like this, a stippling motion, because I don't want to really move the foundation underneath. I just want to make sure that the concealer is working into the blemish. All right, so there we go. The skin is nice and concealed. Now a little trick is to put concealer right here on the brow bone, just a little bit, just a touch and a little bit above it, just a touch, and work that in as well because we're not really going to go in very deep with our um, eyebrow color. We're not going to go in very dark with our eyebrow color, so we want to make sure that there is some sort of light and dark, you know, highlighting without being too product heavy. All right, so there you go. And I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer. I just use cream products for this look because again, powder has a tendency to make the skin either look really, really matte or if you use a powder with an iridescent quality in it, it's just really shiny. So this is by um, Chanel and it's Soleil Tan. And I'm just gonna use that, just gonna use that just a little bit in the hollows of my cheek on my Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm just gonna use a little bit because a little bit goes a long way with this product. So I'm just going to add some color back into the skin. Around the temples. All right, so now that's on. I'm actually going to take my Benetint and I'm going to apply that a little bit to the apples of my cheeks, just a little bit to add a glow. Tap that in. I love this product because it looks like skin. It just melts into your skin. I love it. I know I'm a little bit late on the boat on this, but I really love it now. And now we're going to finish it off with just a little bit of uh, translucent powder. This one's by It Cosmetics, and it is uh, Bye Bye Pores. I'm going to use it on a big fluffy brush. This is a Derma Blend brush, and I'm just in the T-zone. That's it. I'm going to leave the rest of the face pretty dewy and lovely. And then to finish off the cheeks, I'm just going to use this Dior blush and it's number one. Just going to sweep on the apples. Now for the eyeshadow. I'm going to take this Laura Mercier cream shadow in amber, what is this? Amber velvet. And I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques base shadow brush. And we're just going to keep this right here on the bottom lid. Make sure you're not applying too much color. We want this to be very natural and nude. 
but I'm gently going to bring it up uh, above the crease just a little bit. And I know it looks dark right now, but we're going to buff that out. All right, so take your same brush, get all of the excess off, and you want to just start working this color into the skin. And then I'm going to take my foundation brush and just kind of buff the edges out. Then I'm going to take my Dior Universal um, Eyebrow Pencil and just gently brush in some color into my brows to define them. So I'm going to do a quick eyelash curl with my Tarte Eyelash Curler and apply some mascara. And then the final last touches is I'm going to add this pencil, which is by Chanel, and it is number 89, and it's just this kind of off-white cream, and I'm just going to apply this to the bottom lower lash line to keep my eyes open. Now you can skip this step if you want, it's not, ne it's not necessary, but I like it because it just makes your eyes look a little bit wider and a little bit more awake looking. So the final touch is you can use the Benetint as your lipstick if you want, or your chapstick or whatever, um, but I, don't, I usually use like a tint or a chapstick or a really light gloss for this look, but I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Lip Gloss number 12. All right, so that's the final look, and it was super easy to do. Yes, the no makeup makeup look does have makeup on, but it's actually the technique of applying it with a light hand and a little bit of amount of makeup in the special places on your face where to put them. No highlighter, no real dramatic contour, just fresh skin, easy makeup, lashes, that type of a thing. So again, thank you Anna so much for your request. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Keep on coming and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much, bye-bye. This is a secret tip. <laughs> if you guys feel at any time that you're over powdered or too matte, this is my secret weapon towards it. So this is a rose water balancing a mist by Jolique. And I love this. This is Organic Vegan Company. And what you do is you're going to spray this all over the face a little bit. Just like this. Mm, it smells really good. Lay a tissue over your face and gently press. And what this does is it just brings your skin back to life. It takes the powderiness away from your skin. So uh, use that whenever you use too much powder. Hope you enjoyed it.